The mayor of New York, Eric Adams, was seen earlier this week on Monday night partying it up with a number of some of the most famous people in America. And wait until you find out what they were gathering to party about. But first, here he is, almost dancing next to Cara Delevingne. So he wants to be like the celebrity mayor, and I guess this is a step along that path. Uh, other than Cara Delevingne, you've got Floyd Mayweather was there, ASAP Rocky, Dr. Oz. How did he get in? But anyway, a number of celebrities. You can, in fact, see it uh, here in this photo, uh, him hanging out with uh, a crowd of celebrities there. And this this all happened at the uh, skyscraper One Vendor built in Midtown, 93 stories tall. And it was a party designed to uh, promote the launch of a new Wells Fargo credit card targeted at renters, which is an interesting thing. Okay, so here's what they wanna do. Wells is partnering with Built Rewards on a MasterCard that can be used to make payments on any rental property in the entire country without incurring transaction fees. And they had this to say uh, to promote it. Wells Fargo can now help renters with the card take their biggest expense and turn it into a rewarding experience, including helping them build a path to home ownership. That's that's all that we've been lacking. You know, it's not about the lack of supply and the fact that uh, individual owners and corporations are buying up massive amounts of uh, property, including uh, wealthy individuals from outside of the U.S. And the you know average price of a home is absolutely skyrocketing, going up 25% in just the last year. You just hadn't had the right card yet. But anyway, uh, note. That in terms of housing, Eric Adams has been a little bit busy. He's promoting this card at the party. Over the weekend, they oversaw a number of different communities for the unhoused being demolished, as you'll see in this clip. So look, he announced that cleaning up the streets, which is a term that is used, was gonna be one of the priorities of his you know, administration. And apparently he is doing something like that. Cenk, what do you think about this? Yeah, so first of all, of course, we're noting the irony of you know, you're taking out the homeless encampments and then you're pushing for a corporate bank credit card to get people to put, I guess, their rent on credit cards which honestly sounds a bit disastrous. So like, it's not the best idea in the world. Maybe there's I'm missing something. Wells Fargo is certainly not the best bank in the world by a long, long, long shot. Not the guys that I wrote in any context, let alone this context. Uh, and, but there is a serious point here and a twist in this story. Uh, but before we get to that, we have to note that that dancing or lack of dancing or one eighth dancing was one of the most awkward scenes we've seen in a while. Um, so I don't know who that celebrity was, but she, I guess, was having a good time. And she was, Adams, yeah, yeah. Eric Adams next to her looked like he was a cardboard cutout. Um, <laughs> like I, I think every part of that video is awkward. I never want to see it again. Okay, uh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I, ah, okay, so now to the serious stuff um, and the twist. So. Uh, a lot of uh, advocates are getting on Eric Adams, and Eric Adams was not anywhere near my top choice for mayor in New York City. Uh, and, and they're saying that you can't take down these encampments. Okay, I just, and we'll have a guest on. I'm happy to talk to anyone from the, any advocate organization, um, but I don't know what the alternative is, right? So now uh, in New York, they actually have something that's better than in LA. So maybe it's because, and we're in LA. So by contrast, New York is amazing. So maybe that's why I'm like kind of taken aback that, that, that they're getting such heavy critique when it's so much worse here in LA. Mm -hmm. So look, um, what New York has is right to shelter. Uh, so that's actually uh, based on a, on a court decision from a long time ago. It's been updated a couple of times. And so they have about 45,000 homeless people in New York. Uh, and so they must give them shelter. So as they take down that encampment, I know guys, I've spent a decent amount of time with homeless folks. And as they rip down what is in essence their homes, it's heartbreaking. And I saw them throwing away mattresses and desks, and I bet it took a long time to collect that. And they're 
there, I'm sure that the, the people that whose homes they basically destroyed there, and you can say, oh, that's not a home, that's a tent. Yeah, but it's there, it's where they live. It's not your mm -hmm. home, it's their home, right? As such as it is. And I'm sure that breaks our hearts. So I understand that and I feel for that. But at the same time, they do have a right to shelter. And and so those shelters, having talked to again a, a decent number of homeless uh, folks, uh, are have massive issues, especially here in LA. I don't know how bad it is in New York, but I've read at least about some guidelines, right? Uh, so when you go to the shelters, it's not Shangri-La. I mean, it's in a lot of ways the opposite. And people, uh, number one reason people don't want to go into the shelters is because they're going to get robbed. Uh, and there's potential for assault. And by the way, when I ask more and more about it, uh, it turns out a lot of times the people who do the robberies are the guards mm -hmm. at those shelters. So they're a mess. So I don't want anyone thinking that there's an easy solution, there's a magical solution, etc. But when you compare it to LA, there is no right to shelter. LA, officially, they say they have about 41,000 homeless, so right around New York's numbers. But advocates say that there's actually 64,000 homeless, so significantly more than New York. But they have almost no resources put behind it. We do ballot measures in California. It goes into a mystery box. Gavin Newsom and other officials absolutely refuse to tell you where it went, which is insane, totally and utterly insane. And nothing gets built. Um, uh, there, there is much less shelters than in New York. I mean, by an order of magnitude, less uh, ability to shelter in LA. So if you get rid of homeless in campus in, in LA, they have almost literally nowhere to go. Whereas mm -hmm. in New York, they at least have an option. So that's important and relevant. And then finally, one last number for you guys. Uh, New York uh, has one basically social worker for eight every eight homeless people. And, and on some of the busy areas like Grand Central Station, they have people working around the clock, literally, right? In LA, it's not eight to one, it's 33 to one. And so the homelessness situation in LA and California is totally out of control with no plan at all. Not a good plan, not a bad plan, not a vicious plan, not a soft plan, no plan. Okay, so in New York, they at least have a plan, they at least have a policy, and they at least have resources dedicated to it. I think one of the obvious answers is I know people are going to rebel at this too, but everybody's rebelling at tons of homelessness everywhere, right? Well, then if you don't like that, you've got to put more resources in. Those shelters should actually be safe, and that shouldn't be optional. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I think, look, I think you're right to point out some of the differences between, you know, the communities. Obviously, in New York, it's also weather wise, incredibly high stakes, even by comparison. It's, you know, as high as the stakes can be, no matter where you are in America, if you're unhoused. But weather wise, like it's even worse when, when you potentially lose everything. You don't even have the limited shelter that you'd accrued. In LA, the, the theory basically seems to be, uh, people complain about an unhoused encampment in one area, so you clear it out. Where are they gonna go? To a different place, but the people doing the clearing out don't care that they're gonna move to a different place. And the people forming the policy are not only not centering unhoused people, or even formerly unhoused people who might work as educators and advocates for the community, um, it, it's not like even a consideration. Like they're trying to reassure people who have stable housing, who might own homes and don't like the situation. That is the people whose interests are being centered in this. And in terms of the optics, when you're you know, following up a weekend of the destruction of these encampments with going to like this fancy party and hanging out with actresses and boxers and stuff like that, let alone to launch a credit card that I don't know the details of it, but I know how this thing generally goes. And I doubt the like the the mission statement of this card is to really help out renters. I just don't buy that. And it, it just seems so clear whose interests are being advanced with these policies, who this is designed to reassure, who is supposed to come out of this feeling a little bit better about the state of New York. And and so like I understand why people are incredibly worried about this and what signals some of this sends about uh, the sort of what sort of mayor Eric Adams is gonna be. Yeah. Um. It, we've just got to find the right balance because I'm sick of the two extremes. One extreme is do nothing about it. People have a right to do, uh, live wherever they want and and create the situation that we're in. You're not helping them. You're not helping them by saying, okay, just live wherever you want, do whatever you want, go to the bathroom wherever you want, etc. 
That's not help, it just isn't. So doing nothing has led us to the situation we're in where no one is happy and the people who are homeless are, are not any better off, right? Another extreme is the stupid right wing idea. Oh, You just crack some skulls and move people around. God, I hate that. So can we, for God's sake, do something rational, which is build shelters slash homes even better, right? Much better. And and if Utah did it before, it actually worked. It's not undoable, but we've got to get to both a solution that is both humane and decent, but also practical. Exactly. Yeah. And I would also say, while the sort of policy, or at least the I guess the territory in which potential policies are discussed in this area is obviously critical. It is also only the last step in what should have been an entire spectrum of policies designed to avoid individuals, let alone mass numbers, ending up in this policy in the same way that one of the good things about members of the squad, including AOC, and the way that they discuss fighting climate change is that we're not exclusively talking about regulating carbon emissions. We understand that these are interconnected issues, they're incredibly complex. And it's very easy for a lot of people, even people who might like, might love whatever Eric Adams is doing. Eric Adams himself might like advocate for policies that inevitably lead to tons of people becoming unhoused, like providing so little financial stability in terms of employment and wages, access to healthcare, protection against medical bankruptcy, these sorts of things that you you necessarily end up in these situations. And then you're you're like you're struggling to come up with some sort of quick fix, some little patch to the situation. No, let's from the ground up create a social safety net robust enough that we don't end up with emergency situations like this. I would say let's zoom out a little bit, fix the immediate issue, but also understand the context of these policies. All right, I gotta say one last thing. So look, every policy we have is short-sighted, short-term, and just plain old stupid. So in LA, authorities shuffle homeless people around until they're all the way up in Lancaster, which if you know, I know that most folks are not familiar with LA. That's all the way up in the northern portion where it's desert. And then the mayor there kicks them out literally into the desert and outside the city, where then you have conditions that are similar to New York, where the desert gets very cold in the winter at night and incredibly hot, way hotter than New York during the summer. And a lot of people die there. So I find that beyond unacceptable. They mu- and the way the Democrats can frame it, uh, it, not like Eric Adams. Eric Adams, you know, what, whether you agree or disagree with what he's doing now, his framing of it is like tough on crime-ish. Like he's constantly talking about cleaning it up, right? And and okay, I, I'm not one to be stickler for words. Uh, I think framing is important, but then when advocates say no, anyone who says homeless instead of unhoused is evil. No, the policy matters, policy matters, focus, right? So in terms of policy, Democrats, can you please frame it as, and actually do it, hey, you don't like homelessness, which a lot of people don't like in their communities, keep it real, right? Well, then we've got to fund these shelters, these homes, etc. Be good people, provide for your neighbors, provide for your fellow man, right? And actually have a plan to execute that so you don't do what California does. Just take the money and go, I'm not telling you where it went. And you know, it leads to the suspicion that it went to real estate donors who gave to Democratic politicians who then took the money and built expensive high rise apartments with it. So it's so don't go to parties for credit cards for Wells Fargo. And dance awkwardly. Don't you know? Give the money into a black box where no one trusts you. Actually, spend it on the thing that people want you to spend it on, and help the homeless. That's the obvious right balance. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.